Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Anthony from Balloon Twisting 101. What's up guys? Um, everything's going cool. Hope everything's going good over there. And today, I'm going to show you guys how to make a really cool one balloon mouse. Check it out. He's got a crazy little tail. <laughs> got a cute little face. Big old ears. <laughs> so it takes one balloon. Um, and so let's get started. Let's do this. Okay, so to make this one, I'm going to use my um, balloon pump. I got a black Sharpie marker, and I got a, a balloon size 260 Qualitex brand balloon, and I'm going to use pale blue. You can use gray or any color you want. I just like pale blue. I like the way it looks. So, Alright, let's do this. Okay, so go ahead and put some air into the balloon. You want about an eight and a half inch tail. Go ahead and tie a knot. Grab and control tie your knots. Click on the annotation right here. I'll take you to a video where I teach you how to tie a knot the best way I know how. Okay, so the tail's about eight and a half inches long. And um, as far as fingers go, let's see, it's, uh, it's 10 fingers, about 12 fingers, eight and a half inches, or a 12 finger tail. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to do about a one inch bubble. So we have this, a one inch bubble right here. And then, okay, so now we're going to make the ears. So what you want to do is you want to do what's called like a, a loop twist. So I'm going to like hold this bubble in place and bend it down like that. And you want it to be about, about three fingers, a three finger pedal twist, flower pedal twist. Three fingers. So I'm going to twist this right here. Right here. I'm going to twist it. So you have something like this. Okay, so that's one ear. Now we're going to do the exact same thing and make the other ear. So I'm going to hold it like this and I bend it down. About the same size, three fingers. And I'm going to go like that and twist this part right here. So we should have something like this. So what we want to do is we want to position the ears. So we're going to kind of like, like this. Kind of point this down a little bit. So you got it like this. We got the two little ears and we got what's going to be the face right here. Okay, so um, right here we're going to make, we're going to make like a little bubble for the neck right here. It's going to be smaller than this one. About half the size of this one. Okay, so we got a little neck right here. And then uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to make, we're going to hold this bubble in place and we're going to make a leg right here and a foot. So we're going to do a one inch bubble right here. The same size as this one, we're going to do one right here. So we got the neck, and we got the leg, and now we're going to do a little bubble for the foot. So hold these two bubbles in place, put your hand like this, and now make a little bubble right here. Okay, so we have a neck, we have a leg, and we have what's going to be a foot right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make another little foot right here. This bubble right here, we're going to do another bubble the same size right here. Okay, so we got a neck, a leg, a little foot, a little foot. And now we're going to do another bubble the same size as this one. We're going to do a one inch bubble right here. This will be the other leg. These are going to be the front legs. So do another bubble right here the same size as this one. Okay. So we have the neck. We have a leg, we have a foot, a foot, and the other leg right here. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to hold them together like this. And right here, what we're going to do is we're going to twist these two legs right here. Like this, this whole part we're going to twist them. So now you should have something like this. The two ears, the face, the two legs. So what we're going to do is we're going to do like a little body right here. Uh, probably like about a three finger, probably like about a three finger bubble. We'll put like our, our uh, ring finger by the neck. And we'll just do like a three finger bubble right here. So we got a three finger bubble for the body. So she has something like this. Okay, now we're gonna make the front, the way we made the front legs, we're gonna do the exact same thing to make the back legs. So I'm gonna hold this bubble in place with my hand, and I'm gonna go ahead and make um, a one inch bubble for the leg. Okay, so we have the body, we have a one inch bubble for the leg. So we're gonna hold these two hold these two bubbles in place and we're gonna make a little foot right here. Same size as these other feet right here that we made. Okay, so we have the body right here, we have a leg, and we have a little foot right here. We're gonna make another little foot right here, the same size as this one. So hold these hold these bubbles in place. And we're going to make a little bubble right here, the same size as this one. Okay, so we have, the, we have the body right here, we have a leg right here, we have a little foot, a little foot, and we're going to do a, another leg the same size as this one, we're going to do it right here. So just hold these, hold these four bubbles in place, and do a leg right here. One inch bubble. Okay, so we should have something like this now. We have the two back legs right here. So we got the... We got the ears, the face, the two front legs right here. We have the body, and then we have the two legs right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to twist them right here. We're going to twist these whole, this two legs together. We're going to twist them together right at this point. So just go ahead and twist them together. Okay, so we have the ears, the face, the two front legs. We have the body. And then the I, the legs are upside down, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, turn this whole thing, the tail and the legs. I'm going to twist them all together that that way, all everything together. So now we're starting to look like a mouse here. We got the tail, got the two back legs, got the body, got the two front legs, the face and the ears. So we want, I want to reinforce the tail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bubble and I'm going to wrap it. I'm going to wrap this tail all the way around, all the way around, back up. All the way around. Like that. That helps reinforce it so it won't go loose. So I know the tail is like kind of sticking up, so if you don't really like it sticking up like that and you want it to go down more, what you could do is you can make a little you can make a little bubble right here and do a little um, pinch twist. So what you want to do is make a little bubble, make a little bubble right here, and then right here do a pinch twist. So I'm gonna hold it in a place like so, and this little bubble right here I'm gonna pull it up just a little bit and twist it. Do a little pinch twist, and then that makes the tail go straight like that. Okay, let's draw that face now. Okay, so go ahead and get out your Sharpie marker, and um, 
what you want what we're gonna do is give him some little beady eyes <laughs> so this is the way I'll do it I'll just give him some little beady eyes like so and then we'll give him like a little nose a squarish kind of like a square kind of up to you how you want to do it but that's how usually how I'll do it give him some whiskers and then you go from the nose kind of make a line like that and then you do it again like that give him some little buck teeth My sister did hers a lot better, so I'm gonna show you a picture of hers. <laughs> she does; she's a better artist than I am. So, so this is my the way my sister did. So when I made this balloon, I asked my sister, "How you know, come up with a face? What do you think would be a good face for it?" And this is what she came up with. Hey everybody, so that's the one balloon mouse. So if you guys liked it, you know, I think it's really cool. You know, I get the hang of them, do them really fast, and it's great for line work. It's you know, it's really cool. So okay, everybody. So rate, comment, subscribe. This is Anthony Fun Balloon Twisting 101. Y'all heard? God bless. Late. Boom. Got a real treat for you guys. I'm gonna show you guys how I make my balloons last for actually over a year, well over a year. No lie, I'm telling you the truth. I'm gonna show you how I package them and where I, how I store them and everything. And then your balloons will last for over a year too. So it's really cool. You'll save a lot of money with this tip. I mean, seriously, this is really this is just really cool.